In this week's video, I wanna take a look at a camera function that will allow you to be even more creative with your photography and your digital camera. Yet, this is a camera function that is often overlooked. Sometimes it doesn't get used at all. Welcome to the Photo Genius channel. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Welcome to my channel where I post regular photography tutorials, all designed to help you get more from your digital camera so you can take better photos. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Now let's start the video off by taking a look at an image. I shot this just yesterday with my Nikon D3500. Now compare it to this image. Or how about this one? And what about this one? All these images are different. Sometimes the differences are hard to see and subtle, but sometimes they're more obvious. Now the differences between these images is not down to changes in things like shutter speed, aperture, or even ISO. Instead, it's down to adjusting and changing a camera function called picture styles. Now, depending on what camera you have, the name of this function may change. With Canon cameras, it is called picture style, but if you're using a Nikon camera, this same feature is called picture control. Sony call this creative style, and Fujifilm refer to it as film simulation. Now, in order to keep it simple and avoid confusion, unless I'm talking about a specific camera, I'm gonna use the generic term picture styles. But what exactly is picture styles and what does it do? Well, to put it simply, this is a camera feature that will allow you to quickly and easily change the look and the appearance of your images. Now, in order to take advantage of picture styles, you're gonna want your camera to be out of the auto mode. So use the camera's mode dial on the top of the camera to select either full manual, aperture priority, shutter priority, or program mode. Now, this function is also better suited to shooting JPEGs rather than RAW files. And I'll tell you more about that later in the video. To select picture styles with a Canon camera is pretty straightforward. Look for a button marked Q. Press the button and then choose picture styles from the options available on the back of the screen. Press set and you will see that there are on this particular camera seven preset picture styles along with three user-defined picture styles. And these can be customized to suit and we're gonna talk more about that in just a moment. I'm going to select the monochrome picture style. Now monochrome is black and white. You will see the screen will update and now everything I shoot will be in black and white. Now whilst Canon cameras have a Q button, with Nikon it's the I button. Simply press the button and then select set picture control from the available options. And just like the Canon camera, you will see there are seven preset picture control options. However, with this particular camera, there is no option to create custom profiles. Now I'm gonna select the Vivid option, which for me is one of my favorites on this particular camera. Now, of course, some cameras may offer more picture style options than other cameras, but typically you'll find popular subjects like landscapes and portraits are covered. Likewise, some cameras may give you custom options, and this is pretty cool. It's not a feature found in all cameras, but if you have it, it means that you can create your own custom picture style and save it to the camera. Let me show you. I begin by pressing the Q button and selecting picture style. Now I want to save my custom style to the option user defined number one. Now as a guide, the screen is prompting me to press the display button. And now you see that we have a bunch of different parameters and options that we can actually customize. At the top of the screen is picture style and this is the starting point. Now I'm going to press set and change this to monochrome because I want to create my own black and white picture style. Now as I scroll down we see other options. I can change the sharpness, the contrast, I can add filters and even tonal effects. Now let's start with the sharpness which I'm going to increase. The next option is contrast and again I'm going to make an increase here as well because I want my images to be really contrasty. Next is filter effects. Now these can have a big effect on monochrome images. I'm going for red. Now this is great for darkening blue skies and giving me dramatic shadows. 
Lastly, tone in effect will allow you to add a color tone to your image. Here you will find sepia, blue, purple, and even green. For this, I'm going to select none, and that's it. I now have my very own custom picture style. Now, if you're using a mirrorless camera, there is one big advantage because you can look through the viewfinder and see the effect the picture style is having even before you've actually taken the shot. For example, I here have a Nikon Z6. This is a mirrorless camera and I've set the picture style to monochrome, which basically means black and white. So if I was to put this up to my eye and look through the viewfinder, I'm actually seeing the world in black and white even before I take the shot. And that I think is pretty cool. Now this doesn't work on DSLR cameras because DSLR cameras don't use an electronic viewfinder, but that doesn't mean you need to miss out. So let's begin by turning on the live view function and you will see that because I've selected monochrome as my picture style, the live view is actually shown in black and white, which I think is really neat. Now if I press the Q button and select picture style from the options, you will see that I can select different picture styles and actually see the difference each will have on the LCD screen in real time. Now this is a really useful feature and I'm going to select the faithful option. Now let's talk about shooting RAW. Now if you've got your camera like me set to shoot RAW images and you apply a picture style, when you take the picture, you will see the effect that that picture style is having on the image as you view it on the LCD screen. And that's because even though you're shooting RAW images, what you're seeing when you preview and play back your images is a JPEG. Now, if I take that raw image and I put it into software like Adobe Lightroom, maybe Luminar Neo, it will revert back to its original raw state. So if I'm shooting monochrome on here, when I put it in the software, it's gonna go back to being a color image and I lose the effect the picture style is having. So how do I get around this? Well, if you wanna experiment with picture styles, then all you've gotta do is set your camera to shoot JPEG. Of course, if you don't wanna miss out on the raw images, you can also set your camera to shoot JPEG and RAW simultaneously, best of both worlds. So I really hope you've enjoyed this week's video and you're keen to give picture styles a go. If you do, I'd love to know what works best for you. Leave a comment down below. If you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It means the world to me because it helps the videos get noticed and that helps the channel grow. So you don't miss out on future videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You'll find a button somewhere down here. And of course, all that's left to do is for me to say thanks again for watching and hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya, bye.